I finished my degree at SOAS and I went to Egypt. I spent a year there studying there. And as, as I, when I was there, I was doing hef. You know, four to six hours, I'd be walking up and down my flat, memorizing, memorizing, walking up and walking down. And I was doing other things too, kind of thing. Got to about 10 years. And uh, some from before and some whatever like that. After, And then my dad came over. He said, come back. I had a place to come and study in Cambridge. I came back. So he said, you know, come back now and do your studies. That turning point was... That's one of those points in life where, you know, I think, oh. I, saw, I stopped and I came back. Every year since then, I've been looking and thinking, you know, that year I should have stayed there. I should have stayed there. I could have finished. You don't want to be looking back and think, you know, I should have stayed there. I should have done it. I should have stayed there. But, you know, I still haven't given up. I still do the if now, 20 years later. And I will either die a half it or die on the way to doing it, inshallah. And you have to do the same conviction. You know, I'm going to learn this language or I'm going to meet Allah being one of those who tried to do it or died on the way doing it. Okay? Don't look back and think 20 years from now, every year you'll be thinking, no, oh, I could have done it. I could have done it. I should have stayed one more year. Salam. If you don't continue and get to where your goal is, you will meet these same people walking down the street one day or doing whatever or some event or whatever and they will have surpassed you and gone on and learned what they needed to learn and reached that goal that you had. And, and you'll be sitting there looking at them thinking, you know, that could have been me, that could have been me. Don't let yourself be one of those people.